absolute fantastic start. First cast resulted in this fantastic, immaculate looking little tench. And today, fishing a little tench water, I'm going to show you the effectiveness of fishing natural baits. Especially later on in the season, the reasons why I do it. I feel they really come into their own later in the season rather than boilies and pellets. The natural baits really do have a, a certain edge at this time of year and I'll go through all that with you as we go through the day. So what a great start this is, just goes to show, you know, first cast straight in, bang, first little fish of the day. Um, and there's a few bubbles coming up now already so I'm going to slip this little one back and then uh, show you how I'm using, what I'm using, the methods, the rigs and the baits and explain why I prefer natural baits at this time of year. It didn't take long to get the second bite. It's been activity in the swim pretty much since I put the bait in and uh, this is another tench that took a liking to the snails and as I say it's put a really good fight. It's probably a few marks in there from after spawning I would have thought the little red marks are sort of post spawning marks but fantastic fish great fight on the on the tackle I'm using and like I say it didn't take long to get the, the second bite and it is not long after 12 o'clock you know sort of midday it's the worst part of the day really early afternoon uh, it is overcast so that probably that certainly goes in my favour but um, yeah like I say it didn't take long it's the worst part of the day and they really are enjoying those enjoying those natural baits on the the snails and the method ready pellets on the feeder so why don't we have a look at the rig and the bait that I'm using to catch these beautiful fish a pretty pretty tench and I was about to show you the rig however when I slipped that last one back the swim was absolutely bubbling like a jacuzzi so I just couldn't help but resist couldn't resist to to choke the feeder back in and it, it and it wasn't long before it went off again so I'm glad I did we've got this little fella out so uh yeah it's, it's like I say those tactics are really working they really do come into their own this time of year I believe so I'll slip him back and now let's have definitely have a look at the rig and the baits so as I said I'm using natural baits and I tend to use natural baits at this time of year we're in the height of summer and when I was growing up the the older more experienced anglers used to say that and they were quite right in in saying that at the time and you read in books that early in the year early spring when the tench were waking up you're better off using smaller baits like maggots sweet corn and natural baits earlier in the year um, because they used to say that they don't quite come on to the boilies or the pellets until later on until they get accustomed to them. However, I believe because of the, the popularity in carp fishing, these tench have seen boilies all year round and we're, we're not getting as cold as the winters as we used to either. So these, these tench are feeding on these boilies and pellets all year round and come the spring, I believe they're the first things they look for is the boilies and the pellets because they know they're nutritional and they're give going to give them a good a good feeder before they spawn. As the year goes on, and I found it here as well, and on other waters, they tend, the tench tend to get a bit more tricky um, as they become accustomed to taking the boilies and the pellets. They become a lot more wary of them. And I had this happen on this water just, just last week. Uh, I was fishing a, a small boilie, I was fishing with pellets, and the bites um, were like to say that I was getting knocks on the on the bobbin beep, 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 but nothing was really happening nothing was taken off like in the end I, I managed one fish I had to whittle down a boilie so I had nothing else with me and I managed to sneak one tench out in a whole session and normally you can get you know a couple of two or three here in a session um, and I believe it was the fact that they've seen so many boilies been caught on the boilies and the pellets so far they've become a lot wary and they're cautiously feeding when they see them and around them and that's why I switched to natural baits at this time of year because 
I believe that day when I when I couldn't catch those fish, there was tension in the swim. It was it was bubbling up there const almost constantly the entire time I was here. And I believe that they were searching for more the naturals in the in the silt and the weed rather than going for the boilies and the pellets. Like I say, it was very hard work, and in the end, I managed to nick one by whittling the boilie down. Um, so that's why I go on to the naturals this time of year. And as you can see, I've had three in quick succession. As you can see, the bait's quite small, and you think, well, God, you're going to get pestered by nuisance fish on that. And I've got to be honest, with these snails, I've never had a rud pick up the bait whilst I've been feeder fishing. I've fished them high up in the water, these snails, on a float, and I've caught rud on them. Fished on a deck, I've never had a rud pick up. Uh, hopefully, if it does, it's going to be a big rud, which I don't mind at all. As you can see, the rig is very, very simple. It's a method feeder, which a lot of people don't use nowadays. However, with these method ready pellets from Spotted Fin, it makes using a method feeder so, so much easier. You've got no messy ground bait to, to, to mess about with. The, the, these pellets are already prepared. They squeeze on, especially if you're using a mould, put them in the mould, they squeeze on to the, to the method feeder, or you can wrap them, you can squeeze them around the lead. They're very versatile. I've put them in PVA mesh. I've even just balled them in. I've just scrunched the, the, the pellets up in a ball and balled the pellets into the swim as well. So there's loads of ways you can use them. Rested the swim there for about 10 or 15 minutes while well, I showed you the rigs and I had a little bit of something to eat myself and first cast back in I went into a fish which is desperately trying to get into the weed ah. Well, I'm fishing, it's clear on either side of me, two banks of weed. And you've really got to try and bully them. Oh. I think it's ah. solid, solid. No, it's solid. <sighs> Not sure if he's still on, I can't feel him kicking. Got it. He's out. He's out. Oh. We've only got eight pound main line and a six pound hook link. For these tactics, like I say, it is weedy. So you've got to be careful. He's only a little one, but once they get their head in that weed, they're really quite hard to turn. Okay, if I can get his if I can get his head up, I think we've got him. He's still trying for that weed over there now. Oh he's in the net. <laughs> short sessions of 15 20 minutes put a bit of bait in sit back 
give him a bit more confidence to move on the spot again. Right, let's, let's deal with this one. Lively. That's our prize. Another tench. Took a liking to the snails. Yeah, he got solid in that weed, and I wasn't sure I was going to get it out. But if, it, if fish do get weeded up, just keep a tight line on them. It's a barbless rule here, so you have to keep a tight line if you go in the weed. If you let it slacken off, normally the, the hook will come out the, the fish, but that is a last resort. But uh, yeah, if you keep a tight line on them, just be patient. Just apply the pressure. Sometimes pulling it from a different angle helps, and they'll normally come out. They're another beautiful tench. That's the fourth now in just a couple of hours. That's how effective those baits are. And like I said last week, I struggled. The, the last few sessions I've had when I fished board, I've struggled. The, the bites have been slowing down. Uh, as soon as I switched over to naturals, I started catching my normal catch rate from, from this sort of lake. So yeah, like I say, when you adapt your tactics at the right time of year, then keep catching these these fellas right the way through the, the summer and the autumn. out there now for this for this bait what I've done in addition to the feeder I've also made up some balls uh, of the method pellets and thrown them as well because there's clearly clearly a few fish out there so I've just thrown a bit more in by hand and that's the great thing about the the method ready pellets is you can use them pretty much anything. It's so versatile. Oh, they love this weed. Try and get this weed every time. You gotta be so careful. Oh. It's off again, he's got his head down again. Let the rod take the lunges. There's a soft tip on this rod. Just let it do the work. I think the hook might have slipped. It looks like it's just tucked out just outside the mouth there. Let's see if we can get him on the first try. Yes, we can. Yeah. <laughs> He's still lively. Oh. Now leave him in the net. Throw another couple of balls in of the method, uh, method pellets just to keep them interested while I sort the fish out. There he is. That's fish number five so far, again in just a few hours. Once they get onto those snails and they're grubbing around for those natural baits, then they really do, they really don't take long to get onto them. That's five we've had so far. And I say we've got, we've only been here a few hours. Really, really enjoyable fishing, really good fun. And uh, like I said, the other week I just couldn't get a bite on boily. It was so difficult getting finicky little indications on the rod and then on the bobbin as well and switching over 
to those baits really does make a difference. So it's always worth keeping some in your bag or taking some with you on those days when they're not taking the, you know, the, the, the sort of standard baits that we all, we all use at the moment. They really are worth having in your bag just in case on those difficult days could well winkle you out a, a bonus fish or it could actually turn into a great session if you switch over to natural baits. Lovely, look at that, absolutely perfect looking. What a stunning little tench. That weed bed is a problem. They're all heading for that weed bed straight away. So I'm just keeping the rod tip low, pulling them out as much as I dare on that tackle. And uh, there we are. That's uh, another battle that we've won. Slightly better one. Definitely a male by those big spoon-like fins on the bottom. Lovely fight off that. Again, in the meantime, I've just put um, a couple of balls of the, the pellets in, just to keep me interested while I sort the fish out and get a couple of picks. So yeah, those snails are, especially later in the year, Absolutely devastating. After the fish have spawned and they've seen lots of the other pellets and boilies, they really, really do come into their own. We've used them in the early spring as well, and they've done. They do. They do well. But like I said, these tench nowadays, because carp fishing is so popular, they, they when they wake up, they used to taking the boilies and the pellets. So that's what they look for straight away, in my opinion. And then later in the year they certainly, certainly look out for the, uh, they take advantage I should say, of the naturals, you know, the bloodworm and the, and the hatches in the lake. And those snails are just a natural bait to these fish. They see them every day, they accept them as food, and the bites are, are absolutely incredible. You know, the tip just whams around every time, you know, none of these finicky little bites. They really, really, really want those, really want those snails. Lovely fish, a lovely fish. Such a good session, a fun session I should say. Such a fun session. And catching, you know, on something a little bit different as well. Lovely. Well, we're coming to the end of the session. We managed uh, six tench and we lost one to a hook pull, is it? tried to get into the weed so it's been a real enjoyable afternoon. All the fish have come to a natural hook bait which in this case was the snail hook bait which I got a lot of confidence in but there's plenty out there that you can choose from you know um, if you go to your local supermarket you can you can pick up uh, mussels, uh, cockles, uh, prawns so you know, there's a, it's a variety of different natural baits you can use to catch these tension and, and as I said before this time of year after they spawned they really do come into their own and if you're struggling or you've had a session where you're struggling on a boilie hook bait or pellet hook baits then give the naturals a go because you might be surprised at, at, at how quickly they take them and, and how readily um, they, you'll get bites if you're struggling or you've struggled in a previous session like I said it's happened to me many a time and I've had fish fizzing in the swim before and it's been, been so frustrating and then a little switch such as that and the fish have start, uh, started catching again so yeah, I hope you've enjoyed it if you have please subscribe and I'll see you on the bank again sometime <laughs>